So we're back on the old stomping grounds of Parquet Fernando today. In my opinion, this remains one of the most underrated maps in the entire game. And of course, it is still the only place where you can hunt for the biggest animals in the game, water buffalo. Now, I'll just be 100% honest here. I really don't like making videos on kind of a main goal being something incredibly unlikely. However, the inspiration behind this hunt is the idea of getting a really big albino water buffalo. Way back in the day, we actually killed a super rare albino water buffalo, but that was on the old system. And our current trophy lodge is new system stuff only. That was something to kind of have to start over and make hunting every map a little bit more fun. In our current lodge, we've got, I think a level six or seven, kind of smallish one with not very impressive horns. And I really want to find something like even just a, a big seven or an eight to replace that with. That said, because it's so incredibly unlikely, we're not just going to focus on water buffalo. We're gonna hunt all over this map. There's too much cool stuff here and we just don't hunt it enough to really focus in on one species. But if we can get so lucky, that would be kind of the main goal, I guess, of this hunt. So one of the kind of many cool things that are on Parque Fernando is the newest addition to the map in Colored Peccary. Now we have killed quite a number of diamonds and actually I don't think we've ever had a rare uh, over on Rancho, but that's something else that we can kind of strive to get after, especially since they're just sort of in these areas between lakes. Now I think it is water buffalo at drink time. I'm actually not even 100% sure that it is because the ones that we shot were not at a lake. But either way, if it's not water buffalo drink time now, it is going to be very soon. So as we pass between those spots, things like this are another kind of target animal. 91 silver for that. And it is certainly nice, even with the 6.5, about as weak as a class four weapon as there is, we can still at that crazy angle drop it on the spot. So it is, by the way, indeed water buffalo drink time. And something like this, even though he's very much just a common and very much fleeing, that's what I want to get as an albino in the lodge. And I, I know that kind of seems like a really tall task and maybe it is, but there's a lot of even level sevens that are in that range. That's a, a much bigger mythical or at least a better estimate. So I've got the 22 pistol. I wanted to kind of carry a different loadout. And I also chose the 338 and put the parquet premium wrap on it. So maybe if we can get a shot, this is such an awkward angle. Maybe we can take something special with that. 152 to 172, diamond is, I think, high 166. So there's a chance there. And that's kind of what I mean. There's there's a fair few water buffalo with horns that big. It's incredibly unlikely, but maybe not as crazy as some other stuff. But as for this one, honestly, looks like a level nine to me, so I could see it being in the 160s. 162 is pretty darn close, and 1150 kilo also. Like that's right on the fringe of where level nines tend to start. He is about five shy of diamond. Left long shot with that 338 at exactly 188 meters. And even though, like I said earlier, we're not gonna just hunt water buffalo, even though we're gonna run up the coast here, which is mostly water buffalo, there should be quite a lot of other things in the area. And that should give us those type of opportunities as well. Man, that's another really big mythical. He's alarmed. And I'm actually not 100% sure he's alarmed because of us. There, at least in the past, used to be pumas in this area. So I was kind of wondering if maybe that was the cause of it. Because the wind wasn't that bad and we had already stopped. Either way, another pretty good one. We just got to keep on checking as stuff runs away. Just in case there's any rares or even just other high level ones. Because clearly, like I said, they're around. And the other nice thing, we haven't really had it yet. But sometimes we can find them. Often enough, water buffalo can find us too, and maybe that can make our search just a little bit easier. So, we know that he was aggressive, and he should have been coming up around this way, but yet somehow, I don't see where he went. I'm thinking maybe he had crashed, like, right before we got to this point. Because I'm surprised we never saw or heard him, but maybe we just missed it. So, another 160, 161 for him. Left lung shot again, so we haven't gotten that heart shot other than the first one. But this is kind of the the ideal. Going through, getting to spot a ton of them, and finding a bunch of pretty good looking ones. Well, that's a recognizable red deer rack. Fortunately for us, 
not the troll rack, or I guess not a troll. I would say it is the troll rack. But we are, holy, there's a bunch of mule deer up here. We are kind of at the far northwest corner, at least in terms of where most animals are. These legs can get things, but this little one is typically like the last one I'll kind of stop at. There was one max estimate mule deer track, and I think we had spotted him there. It's that guy right back in there. I don't see anything bigger. But frankly, with our options being kind of strange looking red deer, I don't really love that rack or big level four mule deer. We're going to try to get the mule deer. And since we have the 6.5, it's pretty flat shooting. I think we'll just try to get it from here. Now, not the best caliber to try to take a mule deer with, but we should be able to get a shot into the vital. So with his head up, basically going to aim dead on. And that should find its way into a lung. Just going to be a maybe sort of lengthy track. He's going down already, so actually not as bad as I thought. Not bad at all, actually. I don't even know how that works. Like, the last place that we have spotted here, unless I spotted a different mule deer anyway, and maybe I did, that's where he dropped at? He's at 273, so not a bad one at all. He's actually uneven, too, which is kind of neat, because it's uneven, but it works. Like, he's still got the, the sticker off the same time and everything. But two completely different antlers, I believe, or maybe this one's just bent way in. I feel like the main beam's a little bit more massive on that side, but either way, double lunged him, nearly heart shot him, so close. Like, it almost just grazed the heart on its way through. But yeah, obviously, Mule Deer drink time now, it's actually about 1700. And we do have hosts to this server, so we may eventually rest back to morning just for the sake of not having to hunt at night, but... Kinda nice to just get to hunt through the day and sort of go after everything regardless of what happens to be active at the time. So, into morning we go, and right to another huge mythical water buffalo, 161 as the minimum this time. And I mean, if we keep on doing this, one of these things is gonna end up just cracking diamond. Now that time, I thought we had the hard shot like we did at the beginning, but no such luck there. And this is, it's interesting because we came through here around the same time early in this hunt and I didn't see any of these things so I don't know where they all came from also got a black buck over there which I think we somehow just shot perfectly in front of first time we even fired the 22 250 today and naturally completely whiffed what is that's a wild looking one just a seven I kind of want to see if we can get it and considering we just missed on a black buck Something that could be a little bit harder to kill could be a problem, but I can't see how that doesn't get along, and it looks like it did. That would be, you know, outside of just a really high scoring one, that would be almost the ideal for like an albino like I was talking about. That looked, to me anyway, about as realistic as any of the Truehorn's water buffalo that I've ever run into actually have. Now, speaking of high scoring ones, this guy, at least estimate wise, has been the best thus far. 162 and I actually can't remember they've all been right in this same area I think maybe the same size as the first big one and yet again just kind of high and right at least of center punching the heart so well, let's go and take a look at that seven because that actually looked really cool to me like it may not be as impressive as the diamonds but as 141 I don't know maybe it's a little bit too like horizontal but to me, that kind of looks a lot like a trophy water buffalo. Either way, just thought it was cool to actually encounter one like that. One of the cool things about true racks or true horns, every now and then you find one that's like really unique, and sometimes it's both unique and hyper-realistic, and to me at least, that one was actually pretty cool. So, it's red deer drink time now. We're kind of just scooting along the edge of this lake. Obviously, there's water buffalo everywhere and black buck that we can completely miss. Maybe we can run into something else, because I think at this point we have shot definitely majority water buffalo man for just a second there i got really excited it was super obvious because this thing's head was up when i first saw it that is a leucistic black buck but then i realized it's missing the horns and you guys know we've been looking for two rare gold gators or a rare gold croc to go along with the one that we have and originally in those spots we actually had a leucistic and melanistic black buck since they got their true horns, we just haven't really hunted them as much, and therefore, we've kind of focused on the gators and crocs instead. 
but I'd still love to get like a really good size leucistic black buck and, and honestly a melanistic as well. So kind of in an awkward spot here, I think because we're actually closer than it says now because we've kept it spotted. I think we can get that with the 22250. I'm actually going to just unspot it and respot it. So we're looking at about 250. Going to be awkward, but I think we can get that shot to fall into the lungs. It actually, I think we better at least get to this high point. I see how that kind of got out of the way. It's actually walking forward as we try to move in. So we should have just shot sooner. Now we're going to have to sneak all the way in. So inevitably, we've gone from potentially like a 250 meter shot to like a 15 meter shot. I didn't realize it was right here. I had it marked where it was. It must have actually turned back towards us and just came this way to feed a little bit because it was just slowly walking further and further behind this hill and it was taking away any shot angle we had into the vitals. But that's actually pretty cool. We haven't shot a leucistic black buck in a long time. Got the hard shot, not that that's impressive at 14.4 meters, but I think we'll tax that, even if it's just for the second trophy lodge. And I do think, because there was a time, kind of like how rare Axis Deer were, Melanistic and Leucistic Black Buck kind of popped up a lot. As far as I know now, they're pretty darn rare, and that's something that I'd love to see it with horns, but I am not going to complain finding something like that. Well, wouldn't you know it. We've got a level 5 mule deer out here, which if I'm not mistaken, is the exact same result as our last Parquet Fernando video, which was months ago at this point. The end of this video has been kind of completely different from the beginning, and before we get too far into that, I think we're going to try to make the shot with the 6.5. I'd love the hard shot him, so we're going to try it, but we're not going to be overly risky in that. That had to have been close, not going to be a hard shot but I expect them to start dropping just about any second now. Or were we overly risky? Oh boy, we may have been. It was only like 190 meters. But I'm going to assume that dropped actually below the lungs. All right, well, this will be interesting then. If he goes nervous, I mean, he's not, it's not going to kill him. <laughs> but if he goes nervous, maybe we can get a shot. That is not what I thought was going to happen. That's our guy. Alert up there at 150. Should be a much more doable shot. And as long as we don't just completely whiff, I think we're going to be okay. I don't know actually how they got there and then just sort of stopped. I want him probably alert. Facing us is okay. But actually broadside would be a little bit more safe. He is going to stop and face us though. That is the hard shot that we were looking for. So as we run up here, I'll explain what I was saying the end of this video being different from the beginning. We spent like three hours in the same server. All the kills up until the leucistic black buck were all in the same server. If you didn't know, my most recent real life hunting video just came out on the Meat Hunters channel. I was actually working on that. So I had to stop recording this video. And then Friday before the stream was the leucistic black buck. And then literally today, Saturday, is this mule deer. Just kind of bits and pieces, getting back on the Parque Fernando is where the last couple of kills have come from. But naturally, they've been the best two kills. So I don't think this rack control, I'm pretty sure this is guaranteed to be at least like high 320s, low 330s. And he's going to be a, whoa, max weight, but only 331 diamond? Not to say 331 is small necessarily, but for max weight, I, I'm actually surprised he's not bigger. So let's tax that before anything else. That was a little bit laggy. Oh man, we were perfect too. Just exactly in line with the heart, but a little bit too low. It was 212 meters. I thought it was like 190. But then we got the heart shot on the follow-up. And I think we're still going to try to put this somewhere in the main lodge. We're going to have to kind of look around. But a pretty cool way to wrap up and kill figure. It's after ending up on a couple of different servers across, I think, three different days in total. So I finally decided on putting him in this room. We don't have any mule deer in here other than that, but a 331.8. And he's actually opposite a kind of white tail from the old days, a 289. That's obviously not even possible anymore, but pretty cool. That's the biggest one that we've ever killed. So got the mule deer next to that. And then we'll run out through here and I'll kind of show you why I was surprised by him being max weight, but not at least higher in the 330s. I think that's actually the lowest scoring one with that frame. 
that we've ever shot. This guy in here is our highest scoring one. He's a 338.6, and I don't even remember him being max weight. So weight and score with true axe don't necessarily correlate. And that was probably never more clear than with that newest diamond mule deer there. But pretty cool. Got back to Parque Fernando, got to run around, got to see, you know, like so many hunts back in the day when Parque came out. Got ourselves a rare in the leucistic black buck, and then we managed to take down a diamond mule deer as well. So I do think on that note, that's going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.